In today's tutorial, we're learning how to take boring charts in PowerPoint and turn them into something custom with live data in the background. So you can add multiple if you want, or you can change the data and it will automatically adjust. It's a pretty cool effect because it can literally work for any image that you have. Of course, you want to have those vertical images that will work better on part charts. So let's have a look at how we do this. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now, the first thing we want to do, let's just change the layout to entirely blank. So we have nothing on the slide. And then we want to insert a chart. So go to insert. And then we go for chart and here we want to choose column. We can choose the first one here. You can choose any other one as well, but I'm going to choose the first one that will work best. This will open up a Excel file of which you can choose the data. So here you can set the data. Let's remove those two columns. So delete. So we have one series to work with. Then we go back into PowerPoint and we can see that this data is represented in the chart. The cool thing is that it's live data, so you don't have to manually tweak it. It will go automatically. What we're going to do next is we're going to drag in our element. So we're going to drag in our illustration. And the important thing is that we have a transparent background. So you can see there's no background on this image and you can see there's a quite a lot of crop area. So what we can do for that is if you have a background, you can always remove the background here and then we're going to crop it so that it nicely matches the border of the image. So the bottom side, we're going to do it from the side as well. So it nicely touches the edge, do that on both sides and then also on the top because this will measure the absolute top sides and bottom of the chart. Now we're going to control X, paste it on our clipboard, select one of the charts and press control V. And you see it now switches to that or switches the bar chart to that picture, which is quite cool. Now this is still a bit squished, so it doesn't feel right. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click format data series. And here, if you don't have it, you can select the chart again and this will open up the series option. Here we can play with the gap width. So if we increase it, it will become even thinner. Or if we decrease it, it will become wider. So it's about finding that balance for your picture. Of course, this works best with those long pictures, those vertical images. So I'm going to put it at around 40 48% in this case. Hey, real quick, if you want to become a slide expert and never make a boring slide ever again in your life, no matter for which occasion, a sales pitch, a training, a webinar, a launch event, or even a simple meeting, well, I have an entire program available that teaches you how to communicate with impact with your slides. If you're interested in that, make sure to check the link in the description below. Let's get back to the video. Now, if you want to change this even more, you can even duplicate the slide. And let's say we want to have more data. So not just one tree, but multiple trees. We're going to select the image, chart design, and edit in the Excel. This will bring us back to the Excel data. And let's say we now add a second column. So let's do series two, and we change the data to two, three, five, and three again. If we then jump back into PowerPoint, we can see that they've added a second column. And also here, we're going to just drag in the image that we have. We're going to repeat the same steps. So we're going to crop and set the crop marks to the bottom of the image, to the top of the image, as well as the sides. Otherwise, it will create a very distorted image and we don't want that. Control X to paste on the clipboard. Now select the second data series, press Control V, and now you can see that this is adjusting. Now, of course, you can play around with the width again in this case, but also the series overlap. So if you want to have those parts grouped more together, you can do that like this. So here you can maybe nicely put them together so we see it's clear in categories. You can always play around with the size of the chart itself. So also this will distort the width a little bit or you can fine tune it. So in this case, I think this looks really nice. Now, the cool thing is if we, for example, make category two the biggest one. So let's select the data and go back to the Excel and category two, we put that on five and maybe this one on seven and we jump back. We can see that these are now automatically adjusted. So it's pretty cool. So let's put that on full screen. And here we can see a really nice custom bar chart for your PowerPoint presentations, and you can really customize them however you like with live data in the background. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you really want to master PowerPoint yourself and learn the essentials of a slide designer, I have an entire program available that you can access via the link in the description below. Thanks and see you in the next video.